Hi, my name is Mallory Brooke, and I am. What is that? Owner? That's my skin type. Okay, come on. Rompers are just the worst. Ow! What? <laughs> Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and today we are reviewing the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. I got a few comments about you guys wanted me to try this, and I was actually in store at Sephora, and I remembered years ago when Beauty Blender launched their own foundation, and I loved it. I just kind of, you know, forgot about it. So I'm excited to try their skin tint. A lot of you said that you really enjoyed the skin tint, and so I'm hoping that I do too. All right, you guys, honestly, we're working on lighting in the studio, so just if you have any feedback, definitely put it in the comments below. It will help me out so much. What I was trying to say is, hi, hello, if you are new here, please join us on this beautiful journey and in this beautiful positive community we have created here and like this video if you'd like to see more of my content pop up in your feed but if you are new and you're not familiar with my foundation reviews my skin type is dry sensitive breakout prone skin i have an autoimmune disease that can really wreak some havoc on my skin to be honest so that's my skin type and i will also be doing up close shots natural light shots as well as after a workout we'll see it says that it is long lasting the beauty blender uh, about skin tint is supposed to be very long lasting so i'm excited to see if it you know stands against the test of a good sweaty workout and if you don't work out just replace it with a hot summer day girl we are in the summer so don't you want your foundations to last i do i know that i do so and I will be updating with the end of the night. So the shade that I purchased is Light 4, and it says it is a vegan skin tint with 12 hours of wear and hydration with a light to medium buildable coverage and a naturally radiant finish. It has hyaluronic acid, and it is impossible to get out of the box. Okay, come on. The price point on the Bounce Skin Tint is actually pretty good. It is $29 and you get one ounce. So it says to shake before use. So currently I'm self tan, so I'm around an NC20, NC25. So we'll see if Light 4 is a good match. I feel like the product really isn't shaking that much. There we go, now I hear it, okay. And I will be applying with a beauty blender. Ooh, that might be a little too dark. Okay, thumbnail. All right, so it says to apply with the beauty blender. Obviously, I'm going to be applying with this green beauty blender. Thought it was fun and summery. All right, it feels thicker than I thought it would. I thought it would feel like a serum and it doesn't. It actually feels kind of like the, the Rare Beauty positive light tinted moisturizer. All right, that's actually a lot of coverage. I mean, you saw the amount that I applied to my face. I'm gonna apply a little more. What? I'm not a big fan of touching these droppers to the skin. You guys will have to let me know, those of you who haven't tried this skin tint, is it something that's just like flown under the radar for you? Because I know that it did for me. I honestly don't even know when this was released, but I feel like brands that release products that make sense, it's like, that's nice. It makes sense that Beauty Blender would launch foundations because they make tools that you apply your foundations with, you know? Now that we're past the thumbnail stage, I'm just gonna use the back of my hand like I like to do. Oh, if my light's on, yes. Okay, so far I feel like it has pretty decent coverage. It is very glowy, but I'm not noticing any noticeable shimmer, so that's nice. It looks like it's just like a natural type of glow. Okay, I am not seeing this pick up on my dryness in any spots. So that's really nice. I would say this is like light leaning on medium coverage. And I do have, if uh, you're new here, I do have larger pores around my nose that I like to not be enhanced. You know, they don't have to be blurred, but I just don't want them to be enhanced. And it looks like this is not enhancing them at all. So, all right, here we are. I'm gonna build up the coverage just to see what that might look like. You know, say if you want a little more coverage. I will say this, the packaging being like, it's so difficult to get the product actually out. So that's a little frustrating. You know, you got bubbling, all that stuff. 
I'm gonna apply this much more to just see if you build up the coverage, if it kind of cakes up, especially around the nose area. That's where I get most red and I enjoy more coverage under my eyes and around my nose and on my chin. Okay, I feel like I missed a spot right here, so I'm just gonna apply a little more coverage. Okay, the dogs are gonna go nuts because some people are coming into the house, so one second. What? <laughs> All right, you guys, it has been a couple of hours because I finished putting my makeup on and I filmed a tutorial on this look. Well, kind of, I changed it up a little before coming back on camera, started playing the makeup and I couldn't stop. But anyway, the basics of this makeup look, the tutorial will be up or is up, I'm not quite sure. Either way, I will link it below. This skin tint, the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint, I hate the packaging. I don't think it's useful. I think that droppers are just the worst. Like I just bought the Tan Lux uh, drop, the, the, the tan drops, and I dropped the beaker and the beaker broke. And it's just like, why? If I'm, if I'm, you know, uh, if anybody's slightly clumsy, you're gonna be breaking those things. I just wish it was different. That's okay. The product itself is gorgeous. The only place that I powdered down is under my eyes, which is concealer. The rest of my face is not powdered down. So the glow, I didn't even really apply that much highlighter. I applied a little of the cream highlights from the Makeup Forever Face Sculpting Palette. So very subtle. The rest of the glow that you're seeing on my face is directly from the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. So let's come up close. I feel like it looks really, really nice. And so I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see how long this lasts and if it lasts through my workout. I'm not seeing any buildup around my nose and it's been a couple hours, like I said. I don't see any buildup around my nose, anything picking up on the dryness on my forehead at all. I have a little bit of a breakout going on right here. I'm not quite sure what that's from. I did recently review the Lancome, the new Tint Adult foundation. It was reformulated or whatever and I'm wondering if it might be from that, but it could be from something else. Honestly, just like stress from the move, I'm not quite sure. So we gotta figure that out. Anyway, if you'd like to see that review, I'll link it below. But it's not even really picking up or enhancing any of this breakout here, so that is wonderful. I love that aspect. I think that the finish on this is absolutely radiant, glowy, gorgeous. I'm not quite sure if it would work or look great on oily skin. So if you are someone with oily to combo skin, let us know if you've tried this and what you think. But so far, I'm not seeing any problems. I really like it other than the packaging. So let's get into some natural light and see what this looks like without all of the studio lights. What? <laughs> all right, you guys, here we are in the absolute natural sun. Maybe it's a little too high, honestly but I feel like this looks good as much as I can see. It looks natural. I feel like for how natural it looks, I would think that it would have less coverage, but it does not. Here's an up close of in between my eyebrows. It looks a little dry actually, now that we're out here, but this is usually like so dry and flaky, especially around my nose too. Looks pretty decent. Here's my chin, another really dry place. I had some tarot chips a second ago, so sorry if that's in my teeth. I can't really see. Here's another angle here in the natural light. I think it looks great, to be honest. I really think it looks great. So, wow, it's hot out here. I'm gonna get my workout in. I have a little bit of a lower body slash pull day because this week I need, ow, Joan, come here. If you're gonna bite me, you gotta say hi. Say hi, Miss Joan. So yeah, I have a little bit of a leg day and a pull day just because this week has been a little condensed. Now Helen is choking. Helen June. And that's a foundation review. Me, my chickens, and my crazy Pomeranians and my house that's uh, about to be under a little bit of construction. What are you licking, honey? I gotta go check on this. Tex found a corn on the cob. That's for the girls, didn't you, bud? Did you like it? Good boy, he's so talented. Taxi boy, taxi boy. What do you think of the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint? What do you think, Joni? Good boy, Tex. Anyway, all right, I better get to the workout. <laughs> Goodbye. Also, look, it looks really good, I think. Let me know, you guys. I'm a fan, I think. Except for that bad.
kitchen. What? <sighs> okay, you guys, I'm just in front of my window. No studio lighting is on. This is how we're holding up. Whew, it's been tough. <laughs> but I've even had the air on in this room. It's just a very hot day. I have to go back outside to do my cardio finisher, but for back and legs, her skin tint, not too bad. If you notice, this is like the only place I sweat on my face. So here we are with that. That looks, actually, I don't know what that is. Is that? I think it's mascara flakes, honestly, but it's holding up really well. It's kind of breaking up in between my eyebrows, but I mean, sorry, I'm chewing gum. I just needed like moisture in my mouth while I did this workout. So I had to combine the two. So I'm gonna go outside, do my 10 minute cardio finisher, come back in and see how it does. Honestly though, this isn't like any more that I would sweat outside in the summer in the sun. So it's not too bad. It's not doing the best out of the skin tints that I own. Like, oh gosh, Rare Beauty really just keeps coming to mind. That one, and the Fenty Ease Drops, they last so long. And honestly, MAC Face and Body is just <laughs> so good. Girl, we're sweating all my makeup off. So, okay, let's go do this cardio finisher. So before cardio finisher. Okay, so we just did some sprints, a little kettlebell core work, and then a nice little run, very short run. Again, the only place I'm sweating is my upper lip. So it doesn't look too bad. And obviously we're out in the outdoors lighting, not in direct sunlight this time. I need to shave my mustache. You know it's getting out of hand when it's going over your lips. So what do you guys think so far of the Beauty Blender Bounce, what is it called? Skin tint. It's a skin tint. So let me know. I mean, maybe this is like a super slept on, but I feel like if I accidentally got like pushed in a pool, pushed in the lake, I feel like it would hold up. I mean, these are all my dry areas. It looks pretty freaking good, okay? This is on 34 year old skin, honey. I think we all been sleeping on the skin tent. Okay, I'm gonna blow up my face and then I'll see you guys at the end of the night with a final thought. Probably in the studio. I'm gonna go thrive now. <laughs> Let's see, it is currently 10.56 p.m. I've had this on all day, and other than it like literally rolling off underneath my glasses, ooh, I just now noticed that. Can you guys see that? Is the mic on? Yeah, okay, we're good. Overall, let's round it up. Mm. I just ate dinner. I obviously had a very difficult workout, cardio finisher. Helen, Helen June, come here. Come on, baby. Helen June is the tenniest. Helen June is the tenniest. Here's Helen. She screams a lot, but she doesn't appear a lot because she is busy. Overall, I think the skin tint, the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint for $29, not too bad. Okay, cool. Well, and does it resist your Pomeranian trying to make out with you? I think it does. Um, so the first time. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Let's zoom it. So, here we are. Zoom down at the end of the night. Helen, please. Act civilized, honey. It didn't really pick up on any of the dry spots on my face. I think it's really, really nice looking. I think that it might be a go-to this summer just because of everything it lasted through today. Um, a full leg slash upper body all combined, plus a cardio finisher, plus just all day work and filming and Helen. <laughs> I think that about wraps it up. And let me know, are you interested? Have you tried the Beauty Blender Bounce skin tint? Again, I have not changed my mind on the packaging. I think it's terrible. I hate stuff like this. The droppers never work. If you drop them, they break. And then what do you do? You're screwed. But the product inside seems to be pretty dang good. So what do you think, Helen? 
you think that everyone should try it maybe once? Beauty Blender should change the packaging because it's a good product and the packaging's terrible and, and there and for impacts the application process. Yes. She's over it. She's ready to go to bed. She's like, this is so late. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. It helps me out so much. It's YouTube know you enjoy my content. Therefore, you will see more of it in your feed. And subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you. Helen. Helen June. Would love, would love to have you. And if, you know, she could, she would also make out with you, grab your face, and just, she's so loving. I don't, I don't know what I did to deserve this. All right, that's it. That's the end of the night. Everything will be in the info below. Good night. I have to tuck this girl in. She is, she's over it. You know what I mean? Are you over it? <laughs> Are you over it? Still looks good after being clawed in the face. You know what I mean? Okay, good night. Goodbye. Such a shame.